everyone, welcome again. Sorry for the lack of updates, we've been super busy. Um, I'm actually completely changing my life around at the moment. And obviously my horses have both had injuries, which I'll tell you all about. But for now, I'm out hacking back on Flory, the princess pony. Couldn't be happier that she's getting back to where she was. We're just in the early stages of rehab now. So in my last video, Flory had just been for a gastroscope and it came back all clear. So ulcers weren't the problem. Next, we decided we better x-ray her back just in case there's something we can't see from the outside or find from the outside. So we x-rayed all her spine and her withers. Again, the results came back clear. The next stage was then Flory was sent for a bone scan, which she had. And the only thing they managed to find was a tiny bit of information on the right side of her sacroiliac. So we have treated it and now we're just into the phases of working her, trying to strengthen up her muscles around the area and her ligaments. And hopefully, once that's all sorted, she should be back to normal. Flora and I have also been trying out the professional choice contour girth from Solution Saddles. She's very sensitive in her armpits and especially when girthing up and we've noticed a huge difference. It gets 10 out of 10. So when I'm using the newer saddle on Flory, because she's quite a petite mare and I'm quite tall, I definitely prefer to feel like there's a little bit more saddle underneath me. So I do use a thicker pad which I'll show you now. These are a different type of dorsal pad from Solution Saddles, a newer version, and they're very good because they have the cutaway hole in the middle, so they don't put any pressure on the spine. So, here it is with the saddle on, and as you can see, it just gives a little bit more underneath there, because this is quite thin, and I just prefer to feel like I'm a little bit higher on her, because like I say, she is very petite. I choose to use the wedge knee blocks on my saddle as I like a nice big knee roll. When I use the saddle on Flory, I also have an additional knee roll, which I'll show you under here. I have this slight thin one just to bulk out the saddle that little bit more, as like I say, she rides very petite and I just prefer a little bit of a bulkier feel. So because Kasson is such a big uphill horse and he's so wide, I actually like minimal padding on him, um, as much as little as I can get away with, because I want to feel closer to him so I'm able to put my leg on him. I found in my previous saddle, which was also Solution Saddle but the older style, my leg, it was always really hard for me to actually use my legs on him because my saddle made my leg hang quite wide. Whereas this one is a lot more close contact and actually my leg is always touching his side regardless now. Just to give you an idea of how wide he is, you can see from here. He is a big old boy, big bone. On him, I am aiming for as close a contact as possible so I just have those knee blocks on the outside, not those little ones under here like I do on Flory. The great thing about these saddles is that they, you fit them to the horse and then you can adjust them to fit yourself and your preferences and what you love. And like I say, with Flory, I try and fit it with extra padding just so it built, bulks it out a bit because I prefer to feel a bigger horse underneath me and she's very petite. And on Caston, I want to go for the more close contact feel. So I try and use as little pads as I need um, so I can get my leg on him a bit better.